Hello everyone, today we are taking kind of a secondary look at the Flywoo Nano Baby uh, version 2. Uh, they have the DC version, which is uh, this little guy right here, so a little wider stance. Uh, if you missed the original review video, I'll link that down in the video description. Uh, put a card up here or over here, wherever it happens to appear, if you would rather click that. Uh, probably should watch that video first before this one, but if you've already seen it, let's move forward. Uh, they came out with some new uh, PIDs for Betaflight for the tunes for these. The day I had kind of finished my edit and recording of this already, so I went forward with that video. But in this one, we're going to take a secondary look. Now, I need to be clear, I only tested the new PIDs on the FR version for the walk snail. Uh, they have a different CLI dumps that they sent me, and I will link those down in the video description below, down to my Google Drive. If you're watching this video later, do note that those are for a specific version of Betaflight, and if you've got a different version of Betaflight, I do not guarantee they are going to work. Matter of fact, I would suggest, it's a good measure, just go over to the Flywoo website and check their website uh, for fresh PIDs for this. That's going to be your best, most uh, reliable source. I'm just putting them down there in the video description for your convenience. Uh, matter of fact, I probably need to make a note to come back at some point in time and remove that link to those. So if you don't find a link, it's probably because they've got those PIDs published on the Flywheel website. They've made some improvements, but I think there's some improvements we can also make on this one. Got a really nice calm evening. Again, I have overlaid the Betaflight OSD onto this video recording. This is not how it records out of the goggles. And you notice that little jump right there at the beginning. Uh, so this thing really wants to take off. So if you're flying this with air mode on, as I am, and you take off or you arm, it will want to lift up off the surface. Now, if you may have also noticed there was a little bit of vibration, the table I'm sitting at has got a glass uh, top to it and it's not very thick. Uh, so when I bump the table, there's some vibrations there. But I found that most times when I take off from that table that I did get you know a little bit of those bobbles. That's an indicator, at least in my opinion, that our PIDs are a little bit too high in one fashion or another. And we'll take a look at uh, Betaflight and some options uh, that we can, if you happen to see that on other quads that you have of what you might want to do. Uh, specifically, the quickest thing is to just use the master slider in Betaflight and just move that down a notch or two and then test again. Also, we can reduce the RPMs that the motors are idling at idle being your arm, but you're not actively on the throttle. Uh, that's how air mode controls uh, how quickly those props uh, rotate is by that idle speed. So we, we could take a quick look at that at, after this flight if you're not familiar with those particular settings. But I did think that this flew pretty well. And the other thing that you probably want to look at is the fly time, because that was something I made note of in my original video is that, you know, with better PIDs that we can see more flight time. Uh, in this particular case, we're only going to see, I believe it's eight seconds additional flight time over my review video. Uh, but it's something else you may want to go back. And if you're really interested, you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you're especially interested in the difference that the PID tune makes, uh, go back and watch the original review video. I think I'm flying a bit more aggressively. Maybe I had had more coffee this particular day or I was just feeling it for whatever reason. And so I was hitting the throttle a little bit harder. Of course, we have the throttle values in the top left hand corner. You can use that value. Uh, to compare uh, what you see in the two vi videos because when I watched the original review video back versus this one I think I'm flying more aggressively and I do more high throttle moves if you want to call them that in this video over my review video so we get eight seconds more time and in, again in my opinion I think I'm flying more aggressively therefore I'm using more energy out of the battery in this particular video so it does seem as though the PIDs made a difference in its overall flight time. Of course, we do have to acknowledge we also have tri-bladed props on this now versus the quad-bladed props. I've never been a huge fan of quad-bladed props. Uh, I think they have a very specific purpose and feel to them. And I also think that, hey, that tuning those props is not my forte. So maybe that's why I've steered away from them is that I've had troubles pit tuning those. Uh, but Flywoo did say in that message that they also plan to uh, ship this uh, freestyle version or the FR version with the tri-bladed props um, as well as potentially having the quad-bladed props. Although I wouldn't be surprised if the FR version with quad-bladed props just went away and they just started shipping both of these with tri-bladed props. I think that's kind of the way to go myself. So there's... You know, anybody doesn't have any confusion when you get yours on which props you should put on. I just think they should go with a, a tri-bladed props on both of these nano babies. 
Uh, something else about fly time. We're going to wrap up here on this flight, but you know, when you're looking at just overall flight time, you're giving up performance. That's your balance. Is that you know, if you're wanting to zoom around and get the most possible fly time, micros just it's not going to work out very well because the more battery we load on them, the less performance we get out of them. That's just the nature of things. Batteries are what I oftentimes call dead weight. Okay, our flight ended there a while ago, and you see also something else to take note of, the battery voltage at 3.59 volts at uh, 3 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay, so if we go into beta flight, I talked about being able to uh, look at two other alternatives uh, in order to reduce that little jumpiness when we arm uh, on the, you saw it on the table, how it kind of popped up and I went ahead and just got on the throttle. But if you don't, it'll kind of bounce around and scoot around there on the table. Uh, so we could go down here to our master multiplier. I just oftentimes refer to that as the master slider. You can see how high that is. I wouldn't be surprised if you could take this down two notches and you would be fine. Uh, if you really like how it flies with this particular pid tune, again, this could change over time. So go to the Flywheel website uh, to check to their site for the most updated uh, PIDs uh, in within their uh, CLI diff that they probably have there. Uh, you can lower this a notch or two. That's one way you could probably calm that down a bit, if not completely. You can also see we've got dampening pretty high too. That to me seems kind of high, but it kind of works. But those are the two values I would look at, mainly the master multiplier, because that will have a dampening effect as well. Uh, we can also go over to the motors tab, and we can just calm down the motors a little bit. Uh, 20 is what they've got this at. I can't remember the default value. Uh, I'll plug in another quad and look at the default value. I thought the default value was 10, so 20 seems awful high as well. Uh, we could bring that down a few points to see if that calms it down on the, off the, the launch as well so it doesn't bounce around there uh, or want to take off, especially indoors. Here I have got a quad plugged in. Now the Flywheel Nano Babies that I have came with Betaflight 4.4.1, and you can see this is 4.3.0. Uh, so they've changed this to the dynamic idle value is quite a bit different. I don't suggest going to that, but based upon my own curiosity and what we saw previously, I, I did want to take a look at this to see what it was set at. So I don't recommend this. So if you're comparing versions previous to Betaflight 4.4 and that dynamic idle or the motor idle, uh, I wouldn't suggest changing it down to 5.5 like it is in the default on 4.3 uh, because the fly woos are on 4.4.1 or at least at the time of this recording and the ones that I have are on that particular version. So I'm not certain of the default for the dynamic idle or the motor idle. Hopefully that was a relatively short video, so whether you have a build that's maybe jumpy on the table or, or you're curious about that sort of thing, or you wanted to know what the uh, FR version at least flies like. I, again, I didn't test the DC version because I thought the pit tune on it was pretty good, a lot of fun. Uh, just because it's got a dead cat style doesn't mean you can't FR or freestyle it. Uh, but I did want to take a look at the prop change as well as the pit tune change uh, that they sent and uh, give you all a sample of a more up-to-date PID tune or something that if you were to buy one, it would fly like uh, out of the box, potentially. You never know about these things. They can always change stuff after I've got it too. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.